What's going on, good people? How y'all doing? Just tuning in on Facebook Live. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. What's up, Bruce? Good to, good to see you, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. What's up, Mika? I see you. As soon as this song go off, I'm going to jump on the air. Good morning, good morning, good people. Welcome to another live edition of the 623 Lives Matter Radio Show on WOOM 92.9 South Philadelphia Community Radio. Oh, everybody that's watching, appreciate you. Uh, everybody that's listening on 92.9, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate the support. Um, if you guys got a moment, we want you guys to go to spcr.org and if you can, if you if you if you feel as though that you are inclined to do so, uh, we want you guys to donate to the show. Go to spcr.org, not to just the show, but to the whole station. Um, spcr.org. Uh, you can go in there and have the donate button. Uh, we appreciate it. So we are gonna get right into it as always. Uh, we had a um, our Independence Rally last Friday. We had the CWA the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers and the IOTC unions come out to help us out. And it was a great, great turnout, great response from a, a lot of members. Um, some members, man, they didn't even know, which was, was, was shocking. I'm not gonna say shocking. Um, you know, I ran into one member, he was there about, I think he said three or four years. And he had never heard of um, people that we have in office now you know he's been out there working and he never seen them and you know I get it that you know you're not going to be able to see everybody but in three or four years they should have at least seen you one time uh, because you see their dues every week so at least one time but that's a story for another day um, we, we appreciate the support um, we had a great time Great, great time, great turnout. Everybody was engaged and um, ready for change. I don't know what happened this past week, but man, I've been getting some messages from people, man, that I never thought I would get messages from, saying that they're gonna support us and they have our back, you know, and it's, it's, it's refreshing, it's, uh, you know, rejuvenating, and I'm just hoping that people uh, really put it on paper this time. Because, you know, it's a lot of, it's, it's just, we've lost so much over the last few years. And, you know, we, we keep losing, the company keeps gaining, our officials keep gaining, and the members keep losing. That just doesn't seem right. It's, and it's not right. So somewhere along the line that we need to stand up and take our union back. And we have a golden opportunity to do that at this moment. You know, in 11 weeks, um, the ballots will be mailed to your house, and you have an opportunity to change 
the direction of our union. Um, it's going to be totally up to you. Um, you know, we can we can come on the radio. We can give you flyers. You can see us fighting in the, in the company. We can do all these things. But if you guys don't vote, it's going to be null and void. And, you know, we can't keep going down this road. This is our 100th year anniversary of our local union. And we don't want to go into the next 100 years the way we are right now. We want to have a change from the top all the way down to the bottom. And, you know, we need to do so. Now, earlier in the week, um, I put up uh, a video that I put up doing the contract. And it was two young members at the time that we had. And these these young members, man, they were very, very adamant about getting people to vote. And when I went out there this past Friday at Oregon Avenue, they're now supervisors. And when they came out, they said, hey, you know, you know, Mr. Richard, man, you know, we appreciate what you tried to do, but, you know, the, the union doesn't offer me anything. You know what I mean? They they don't, you know, they took our vote away, this, this, that, and the other, and I'm sitting there, and they're right, you know? And I know a lot of people may say where they'll sell out as well. You know, that's your perspective and, you know, your opinion, but when you don't offer young people, you know, anything, and then when they participate in certain things and you take that away from them. Young people, especially, you know, they're going to go another way. That's just the reality of it. I mean, all of us were young once. And we probably would have done the same thing, you know, especially when you don't see your leadership. And then when you vote and they take your vote away, they took your voice away. And, you know, when they're going to mail them to your house, Reggie, they're going to mail your ballots to the house. So that's why we need you to make sure that you have the correct address on file, um, that the union can send your ad, um, your ballot to you. Um, you. You can do that now. The number is 215-289-0580. Um, just make sure that you, your information is correct, address is correct. If you got married, if you moved, uh, whatever the case may be, just make sure that they have um, the correct information so when the ballots come out, you'll get your ballot. Now, you got to say this. If you don't get your ballot within the first week, don't wait. You know, make sure you call. Make sure you keep pushing the issue. And if you have to go up to the hall yourself, go up there and get the ballot. Without, no, I will say this. They're not going to have the ballot there. But go up there and let them know that you didn't receive the ballot. That way you can get a ballot. All right, because it's very, very, this this vote is very, very important because it's not only, you know, we'll see how we're going to do the next three years or the next year. Um, there's another election coming up that's very important for the international um, election. And depending on who we have in office here, uh, we'll go, you know, you'll see um, how they're going to respond and react. To what's going on in the international level i mean you saw what our guys have done already when it comes to that and we don't want to go through that again so we got to make sure that we don't do that all right so again um 11 weeks left everybody has to vote it's, it's very very important that you vote because you know uh, who knows how many slates may run uh, but our stance is this and it always will be this um it doesn't matter who runs it just matter who votes. That's that's the point. Everybody has to vote. Uh, if 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 you don't vote, then essentially what you're saying is you you're okay with the way things are going. And I hear a lot of you saying that you're not okay with it. So that's why we need people to vote. We need people to speak up and speak out. You know, don't be afraid of the people that's in office because they can't do anything to you. They can't. You know. And I don't know why people are so afraid to come out and speak out against them. Because a lot of people tell us, hey, man, Hook, we with you. But, you know, I, I can't say this because if I do, then they might do this. That's, that's, that's why we got to get rid of them. If you, don't, if you don't feel comfortable with speaking freely and acting freely when you're paying to do so, then you need to make sure that you vote another way. Because it makes no sense to me that you can't be yourself and say the things you need to say 
when you're paying for that. That's the issue. That's another issue that I don't know why people just don't understand. You're paying for a voice. You're paying for a vote. You're paying for your contract. You're paying for representation. You're paying for all these things. So if you don't use it, then they're going to essentially take it away from you. So we need to make sure that we uh, we use our voices. Can't be afraid of these guys. These guys are not that built like that. They're really not. There's no reason to be afraid of those guys in office. You know what I mean? So we, we got to make sure that when it comes time to speak out, speak up, that we need to do so. Because a lot of people may be on the fence. They may not know what to do. They may not understand this whole 623 Lives Matter movement. They may not understand, you know, why these guys are fighting the company. Hey, I come to work every day. To, you know, UPS doesn't bother me, and, and I don't see nothing wrong. Well, we need to get to you because sooner or later, something's going to happen. Trust me. Um, it's going to happen, and, you, and you're going to wish that you had the right representation because, trust me, something will happen. Uh, UPS is... is, is they do not care nothing about you, your family, or whatever. So something will happen where they they're gonna put, um, they're gonna show you what their loyalties lie, and it's not to you, or your family, or anybody else that work for them, not even their own management team. So keep that in mind. Also, you know we we doing this whole six two three um, donation thing. Uh, we'll talk about that later on, and I'll put the links up. And, and thank to everybody that's been donating. We we appreciate it. Because a lot of times, you know, a lot of uh, times people, they say they're with you. But you you can really tell if people with you. If they dig into their pocket and give you, you know, donate some money. You you can tell. That's the ultimate clarification of somebody with you or not. When they dig into their pocket and give you their hard-earned money. And uh, that's that's the definite uh, tell-all that if people really are with you or not. So we thank everybody that has donated. We appreciate everybody. They will donate. Uh, we thank you in advance. We appreciate you. God bless you. And uh, we're going to keep this thing rolling, man, because we can't stop. We didn't came too far. I know everybody's like, oh, man, they're making a lot of moves and all this other kind of stuff. Well, the, the, the whole board, if you look at it from the very beginning when they took office, you know, a lot of those people either quit, stepped down, or partially stepped down, or now we're hearing rumors that uh, Morris may have retired or will retire and all these kinds of things. There's a lot of dysfunction. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of, you know, it's just nothing streamlined like you want your e-board or your leadership team to be. You know what I mean? Because if it's coming from the e-board, it's going to trickle down to the membership. And trust me, UPS benefits from the confusion and all this other kind of stuff. The... Yo, yo, what's up, no? They benefit from that. So what we need to do is is make sure that we vote and vote for new leadership, vote for change, vote for because if we don't, it's going to be another three years of what we got. And what we got is not good enough. You know, our members pay for more than good enough. They pay for um, the best. They pay for the best. And, you know, we don't have that. Hopefully, people will vote for that. Um, will we make mistakes? Will we do everything right? Absolutely, we're not going to do everything right. We're going to make mistakes. People, people are going to be mad with us sometime. But you will never have to question um, our fight. You will never have to question our loyalty. Those things you will never have to worry about with us. Right now, you know that our e-board, um, they're not going to do anything to come up against the IBT uh, or Hoffa. If they had to make a choice, and you've seen this, if they have to make a choice between Hoffa and the IBT or the members, they're going to choose the members. They're going to choose, I mean, not, they're, they're not going to choose the members. They're going to choose Hoffa. I'm going to say that again. If they had to make a choice between Hoffa and the members, they're going to choose Hoffa. They already proved that. They have proven that. Um, if they if they had to make a choice between UPS and the members, nine times out of ten, they're gonna choose UPS. They keep showing you that as well. So uh, the choice is up to you guys. 
You know what I mean? You guys have to make the choice. We don't have a lot of time left. I know a lot of guys are worried. Oh, man, you know, we don't want no other slate. Hey, listen, you guys got to stop worrying about who else is running. Who have you seen over the last four or five years? There's only been one group of people. One. Now, the message has never changed from 2016. It never has. The methodology has changed, but the message hasn't. Because the message is still the same. We're still talking about protecting the membership. We're still talking about fighting the company. We're still talking about standing up to the Hoffa and the IBT and that whole regime. We're still talking about that. But now we added some more stuff to that. So now that you can see what you're going to get when we get in office, it's up to you guys to put us there. We can't get there on our own. That's the part that I believe um, our incumbents are hoping that you guys don't vote. We put a flyer out there, and at the bottom of that flyer it says that our incumbents are hoping that you guys don't vote. Because if you don't vote, then they stay in office. And they know that. They know that if we don't vote, they stay in office. Just, just the way it is. And Part-timers to vote. We want the part-timers to vote. We want the full-timers to vote. The fact of the matter is, people just don't vote. So, you know, what we need to do is focus on the people who do vote and get them to change the way they've been voting. Because people are not going to vote. We can keep beating it until we, you know, pass out. People are just not going to vote. They, they're just not. So what we have to do is make sure that we reach out to the people who we know who vote Get them to change the way they've been voting and make sure they vote for us. Because if not, it's going to be the same old, same old. And I'm going to tell you something. I do not want to go into an, another 100 years with the same old, same old. It's, it's not working. UPS has continuously dominated us um, for over I don't know how many years. And they do it systematically where you almost can't tell that they're doing it. Let me give you an example. Now, at the PHL Air Hub on a night sort, they were giving our members, uh, the newer members, a $100 bonus for like two, three years, right? Then it turned around and gave them a $2 and um, a 35, 40 cent raise. Now, while all that was going on, all of us was fighting each other. Oh, man, I can't believe they got this bonus. Oh, man, I can't believe they got this big raise. And guess what was happening? UPS was still making billions. Our e-board was still collecting our dues while we were continuously fighting each other over the $2.35, 40 cent raise and the $100 bonus. That's how they always beat us because we always turn on each other. We always fight against each other. Now, we take that, use that to our advantage. We can win. But guess, guess what? While we was focusing on the $100 bonus and the $2.40 cent raise, supervisors was working. Supervisors working right next to the people complaining about the $100 bonus. So while you clean, co complaining about the $100 bonus, the supervisor worked four hours every night all year. How much money How much money did you lose? You lost way more than the $100 bonus. So what's up? What's up, Ron? What you got going on, man? What's happening? How you guys doing? We're running a little late today. You yeah. know, everybody's wake, woke up and uh, I got my alarm there. and. Right. Hugged it, went way back to AC. <laughs> I, I hear you. Went back to sleep in I, AC. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, it's a, cr it's crazy. All now, this stuff going on. You has, you said something that was um, last week. You said something. Oh, but I gotta give you props on something. I'm gonna put it on the air. Okay. And I want to say thank you for this. Okay. I'm gonna tell everybody now. I had this flyer that we was gonna put out, right? And it was, it was, it was a good flyer, right? But it had negative connotations to it yes even though it was true because what happened though a couple months ago i sent it out to like a couple people that li liked it right so i was going to do it during this whole friday you know our independence rally yes but our brother here he pointed out something to me this is why i love this guy <laughs> he pointed out something out to me hey he said hey hooker we don't need to put that out there so what i did was i took the picture off put the new picture up there and i just switched some things around it's basically saying the same thing but it's more positive, and it takes the the, the light off what. Yes. Because like you said, everybody knows 
that what what, what I was going to put out the flyer, everybody knows that already. Absolutely. I mean, they know that. Just in case anybody don't know, I, I'm James Romeo. I, I was running a little late today. I'm right. usually here with Hooker waiting right. for him. Right. You know, but you know, we have we all have them late days. Yeah. Oh, Especially yeah. when you're working overnight and the things are going yeah. on the UPS, yeah. you yeah. understand. But um, absolutely, I think that our sleep is better than that. Uh, every individual in our sleep is better than that. We right. don't need to slander any anybody out there, right. because uh, it's going to happen eventually. Yeah, yeah, it is. As soon as people, you <laughs> yeah, know, decide is. to rally or decide to do any type of uh, political political thing for this uh, right. election, somebody's going to take a low blow. But yeah. we don't need to do that. Right. You know, I mean, it doesn't need to go out there because I think that every individual in our local can see yeah what's going on exactly i mean at the at the rally um at argon ave i i was asking people questions and the the puzzled look on our members faces was really sad like because they couldn't answer simple questions like who their ba was they couldn't answer questions what they would be a yeah. meant. And I brought this up and yeah. like Hooker was like, you know, I, I could so see on your face that it ain't that bad. Yeah. I don't think I think that you thought it wasn't that bad. Yeah. And when he seen the people's faces and the answers and yeah. they were just like, I have no idea what you're talking Man. about. I don't right. know anything. You know, it, it was kind of funny because like when you're when you're doing that type of stuff. You don't understand right. until you actually like interact with them. Right. So when we actually got to see it firsthand, I think I was even surprised. Yeah. I, I, it wasn't like the, the people who were asking what just started. I'm yeah. talking about these guys have years of experience. I talked to I like, people like, that were 20, 15, yeah. 16, 10 years. There's people who are new. I expected from the people with a year or right, less. Exactly. But there's people with two, three, four, five, yes. twenty. Right. And I'm just like, wow. And they couldn't even name their BA. Right. They couldn't name their BA. They didn't even know what BA meant. They didn't right. know who their BA was. And I'm just looking like, wow. And some of them barely knew their shop steward. Right. I mean, it, it, you don't really have to know your shop steward. I mean, but it's nice. Right. I mean, it, it doesn't mean that, you know, it, you want somebody to defend you properly. Right. You want somebody to be there for you. And that's understandable if you don't. That just means you're, you know, one of those employees that just keep to yourself. Right. But, you know, there's you never know when you get a management person or a supervisor or anybody yep. that has, like, this situation with you. Maybe they just don't like what you're wearing that day. Right. And everybody has at least dealt with that. I know yeah. I have. Yeah. You know, I come to work every day. I'm on time. I do my job. And then all of a sudden, like, people are like, you know, oh, go here, go there, go everywhere. Yeah. And you're just like, whoa, what did I do? <laughs> you know, I'm here, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm doing what you're telling me to do, but yet you're riding me harder. Right. And then people don't understand that you have rights. I just you know, talked about that like, yeah, before you came. Yeah, I was listening before yeah. I came in. I, I think I might have, you know, with a little delay. Right, but, right. yeah, um, I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I know um, I was telling you, I was, like, investigating <laughs> yeah. no, because like it, it, we all work different shifts. So, you know, I work the twilight midnight. He works midnight preload. Right. And, you know, we basically pass. We pass each other. Right. You know, but we have a line of communication, which is good. I mean, a lot of people in here don't have a line of communication. Right. So we do keep in contact. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I hand I handed out flyers last night and in, in, um, in twilight Cardix. And I also put it out on a, a right. cafeteria table. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw it yeah. out there. Yeah. Um, so I was getting it out to the word out there about our, you know, our slate and, and it's just, it's crazy. Cause like people don't know, they really don't. The people I was talking to, they were just looking like yeah. deer in headlights. Yeah. That deer in the headlight look, look is really scary it when, is. when it you're is. dealing with, you know, stuff the kids, it's like, I'm explaining to people what we're doing, but like every time I explain it, I kind of feel like. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes when when, <laughs> when they look at you when like they the, look at me like yeah, that, I yeah. kind of like have a second right, thought like, of myself because oh, right. I'm like, whoa! Like, am I explaining this properly? Do I got this person's attention? Right. Because it's like they don't even know. It's like you know, it's like a young mind walking into kindergarten. You right. got to mold this person's mind because exactly. they don't know. Right. Um, but I know 
Yeah, I don't know what you touched on. Did you touch on any part of the um, shop stewards? No, I'm waiting for you to You're come You're waiting in. for me? Yeah, okay. I'll wait for you to do that. So I, I was... <laughs> I was finding out, like, as we all do, we find out all information, and, right. you know, so I've been trying to run for a shop store, and I mean, I wanted, I had it on my mind, and my area needed a shop store, I did approach the, the union about it, and, you know, it was a, like, oh, okay, we'll think about it, we'll get back to you, and, and long story short on that, it was like, it wasn't in the budget, you know, that's basically the polite answer. It was like, you're telling me it's not in the budget. Okay, whatever. You know, just like, oh, guy, go kick rocks. You know, it's not in the budget. You know, yep, yep. we can't afford to have another shop store. All right. Okay, fine. You know, you guys know the budget. Right. You know, I, I, it's a polite way of saying no. Right. You know, and, and I'm not going to, like, challenge them because I don't know the budget. You know, okay. All I can say is, okay, no problem. When election time comes up, I'll run. But you have to understand, like, you know, if the area needs a shop store, you can't just go, hey, I want to be a shop store. Pick me. Uh, they have to come down. They have to assess the situation. They have to look. They have to like, ask anybody in the area and go, like, okay, does anybody in here want to be a shop store? And then, then you know, somebody raises their hand or, say, more, multiple people raise their hand. Uh, then it goes to an election. Now, if one person only has an interest then it's up to the you know the BA right. and the you know the E board to they talk it over and go okay well we can appoint X whoever X is. Well, it's not even getting to that now. Now they're just like okay, oh uh, you want to? It's like you know it's damn near like Oprah on Twilight. You want to be a shop store? You want to be a shop? Everybody's a shop store, but I thought it wasn't in the budget. And then there's rumors going around about people getting fired by the new BA. Did you hear that one? No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, it, I heard last night that uh, the new BA fired the the Clarence Smart. Oh, 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 I don't. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. that's what was going on, and right. that it's, it's totally false. Right. Okay. Right. So I, I had to investigate that because I'm like I'm not right. going to like you know I was I was like what's going on? Right. So it, it's not it, Clarence Smart supposedly he quit as a shop store on Twilight. He didn't like what the direction I guess it was right, going. Right, right. So he quit, and then here we go. Shop stewards coming out of the woodwork. You know, oh, you want to be one? Sure. You want to be one? Fine. You know, where's the election? You know, if you have multiple people of interest, where's the election? Am right. I am I wrong with that? Or no? I mean, that's how that's how I know that it happened. I know yeah. in in the package center over here in uh, PHL, they had a shop steward step down, and then they had an election. Mm hmm. That's how it was always yeah. been done. So I mean, I'm just saying, like, yes, it then, like, you know, we have uh, shop stewards that are out, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, So right. There's, a, there's a full-time active shop store in, on midnight. He's on, I guess, dis disability, or he, he's out. So the alternate is stepping up. I mean, he has been stepping up all along, right. but the whole thing is he's stepping up and he's handling everything. Mm -hmm. What happens when he's out? You don't have an alternate? You don't have a, the alternate does not have an alternate. So he wants to choose me. And he brought it up and I'll get back to you. So it's like, okay, all right. So I guess when my name comes in the situation, it's, it's, it's like, I'll get back to you. We'll yeah. see what is going well, on. And I'm just like, all right, when, when is it like um, going to be okay? I mean, what if it's not me? What if it's somebody else? It's like, well, you know, just like make it right. But no, but not a lot of people right. want to do this. Right. So I mean, they're saying they're running short on shop stores, but there's people that actually want to do it, and you're kind of giving it a hard time. Right. You know what I mean, like I want to learn. I want to. I want to get yeah. better. Right. I want to be a shop store. I want to help the people. <coughs> you know. I mean, how did were you ever a shop store before you were a shop store? You know what? I'm gonna tell you what happened. This is this is this is what happened with the whole thing. About ten years ago, it was uh, Trump better. I remember Jumbo. And, and Jumbo. They came to me and said, well, and they said, hey, listen, man, you know, you should think about being a shop steward. I said, man, no, nah, man, I, you know, I, I didn't even know what a shop steward was. You That's know, crazy, nobody yeah. ever told me anything. And so yeah. I said, all right, I'll give it, I'll give it a shot. And so I became one. And then there was no training. I just learned on the fly. Yeah. And then now 10 years later, I'm still one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they, it wasn't like, you know, I mean, the interest in becoming a shop store right now is like very, very slim because yeah. they see what's going on. Exactly. Because now, nowadays, see, back in the day, 
and we could go years and years ago, and you could you probably you know agree to this. Shop stewards were protected. You know, like if you were a shop steward, you weren't messed with that much because right. either you were a strong individual, right, or they knew better. Right. You know, it's one of those things that I don't mess with him. He's a shop steward. Right. Now shop stewards get it too. Yeah. They get it too. Yeah. They get picked on too. And like, who's protecting them? The e board. And, and guess what? Like, here's the thing. It's like, if you are not with the e board, when you go to a, a hearing, are they going to protect you? Are they going to give you 110 percent? Because I've heard I'll, I'll rumors. Tell you, I'll, no, I did. I, there's no rumor. I'll, I'll tell you this. <laughs> they will not give you 100 percent if they know you against them. They're just not going to do it. And I could tell you 110 percent. I seen it firsthand when Clarence Bagby was going to come down oh, and protect man. me. Yeah. And on his day off. Yeah, that was. The e-board said, "No, we don't need him." Now it's my right as a you know as a member as a paying member to pick who I want. And if I file a grievance with Richard Hooker right here, yeah. and I want Richard Hooker sitting in on my grievance, I have the right. If I don't like Richard Hooker, I have the right to choose somebody else. But not a lot of people understand that. And you know why? Because the e-board, they, they, they don't want you to go outside of your area getting the shop store. Which I, I don't, I, I, I see it, but it's not, it's not conducive for what we're trying to do. Yeah. For example, I'm, I'm, and probably people don't know this, and I'm just, yeah. gonna, I'm just going to tell it. A, year, uh, a couple years ago, there was a young lady who had a situation with Izzy and uh, Shanahan. She didn't want to use them. She wanted to use me. So I was taking, you know, I was letting Izzy know what was going on. And uh, she didn't like the way he was handling stuff. So filed a grievance for her. <laughs> he didn't like that. So you know what Izzy told me? <laughs> Izzy told me. I'll never forget it. I laugh about it now because it was because I can still see it happen. He told me that he was going to file charges against me if I did that again. I said, well, Izzy. You might as well go ahead and file the charges now because if a member comes to me yeah. for help, I'm going to help them. You, there's no, there's no, you are not in the wrong because you are a, you know, shop steward, and the member has the right, you right. know, and you're not really contradicting anything because like even though the BA is higher in position, right, they still have the right to pick who they want to, to you know, defend they, them. The e board doesn't see it that way. They wanted to be their way, well, and, but I, 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 I can. For structural purpose, I understand. Yeah. But, but if the people want who they want, they're paying for it, I think they should have who they want. Well, not only that, it's like if you have somebody in your area and you feel that you're not being represented correctly right. and you bring it to the e-board and they don't do nothing, what do you do? <laughs> I know. I mean, that's kind of where I am on, on Twilight right. Cardage. Right. You know, we got a couple people over there and we're like, nah. you know, we've seen some shady stuff. I brought it to the union brought it to people's attention and nothing was done right so what am i supposed to do i mean i'm just supposed to be a strong individual and fight i'm supposed to know the comedy that it's hearing and you got somebody that doesn't know how to represent you you'll know off the rip right like for example when i was being represented for a harassment grievance management sat down and started cursing beginning of the the uh the um <laughs> the hearing and i looked at my shop store and the shop steward was just sitting there, like, waiting for me to respond. Right. And I was looking, and I had to just, like, you know, when you, you ever get, like, that migraine, and you got to hold the you know, top yeah. of your nose, yeah. and you're just sitting there like this. Like, right. I was, like, so upset and disappointed, but I couldn't really show that. And I was showing it. Like, if I was playing poker that day, I yeah. was showing my cards. Right. Because it was very upsetting. But, you know, you have to be cool, calm, and collective. Yeah. Gather all your bearings. Yeah. And, you know... Uh, you represent yourself, you know, in this basically this trial, <laughs> whatever. Right. It, it's it's a trial. When you go in, I don't know if you ever had a grievance hearing, and I mean, I hope a lot of people have it because it's it's not fun, you know. And, and, but you're going to eventually have one yep. because the smallest thing is pay shortage. I mean, it, it it's when I say small is that it's small because it's that one of the most, you know. Mm -hmm done things over and over right. again. Pay shortages. Yeah, it's pay shortages are a big thing to the employee, but it's so small to defend, like, yeah. you know, because it's, it's common.
Right. But when you put that grievance in, all of a sudden you have a target on you. Yep. They don't. They didn't know who you were. Now they know who you are. <laughs> they know your blood site. Right. They know where you work, what yeah. time you clock in, time you clock out. And it's amazing because like you weren't on their radar for them like yo. X amount of years right. you've been there, right. or days or whatever, and all of a sudden you put that grievance in, phew. Yeah, you become a target. And it's crazy because if you aren't a strong individual, they will break you. And that's the thing. And they do it intentionally. I've seen it. Yeah, they do. I've they, seen they, it they don't, they don't. They don't like strong people. Mm -mm. I don't think, I'm going to be honest, I don't even think the, the, the local like strong members. They, they, oh, absolutely I, not. I don't, I, don't, I don't think either side wants... They don't want anybody to speak up and speak out against what they do. They want you to be quiet, take it. Yo, I hear them so many times say, well, be, be happy you got a job and, and all these kinds of things. But you don't want to hear that from the e-board. Well, I mean, you, you expect, like, the way things are being run, you kind of expect it. Because they want to tell you something and you're not questioning. Right. I mean, my the best thing of, uh, the best way to understand something 100% if you are have a little bit of uncertainty with anything being explained to you, right. is to ask questions. Yeah, you have to. And the thing is, when if you ever been to a meeting, and you ask questions, and um, I mean, I have to say, I don't like it. Shanahan, when he tell ask, answers questions at the union hall, <laughs> yeah, he really belittles the the members. And I mean, I have no problem telling this to his face because like he he's done it to me. And like, he, oh, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. You need to understand. Ho, ho, ho. I do understand. This is my understanding of this. I'm trying to get clarity from you. Because I'm trying to be on your level to understand what you're saying. So I want to make sure there's an equal understanding between right. you and I. Because your understanding and my understanding are different. And then there was the, it goes back to the whole thing with... Um, the doing the the uh, the overtime, mm -hmm. remember the overtime yeah. where they got to open up centers. Hold up, centers. What's a center? I didn't know what a center was. Are you kidding me? This is, I've been almost nineteen years. You, you, we're opening up centers. Hey, you know what? Check this out. After after that meeting, right? It was like that Monday. I was sitting in my car. He came up to me. And he says, uh, "Do you think UPS um, would try to exploit the whole center thing?" I said, "Yes, yeah, Shanahan." That's what the whole. Pro that's what we was asking you yeah. and telling you that, because if I got a guy with 20 years over in this center, then I got a guy five years in a center right next to him, and they offer overtime. You mean to tell me the guy with five years is going to get is 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 subject to get the overtime? Absolutely. Before yes. before the 20 year guy, it, that's not fair. It's not fair, and that's why we have <coughs> seniority. I mean, it's, it's it's like when are they going to open senators up for now? You know, full time jobs. They, they oh, only that senators allow for full time uh, jobs. I mean, yeah, it, right. when's it going to stop? I mean, you got to break it down. Even with the whole kind of like you know strong arming us with the um the supplement. <sighs> I mean, you want to break it down with that. I mean, you open a floodgate for them to do it one time. They're going to do it two times. They're going to do it three times. I mean, this is how it is. You take away our 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 our, um, our, our health care. What's going to happen? They're going to keep taking more and taking more Romeo, and taking more. If if they get back in there, and I pray to God that they don't, I'm going to tell you something. You know, everybody in this local knows, if they get back in there and it's going to be contract time, the first thing UPS is going to say, they, they're not even going to negotiate. They're going to say, listen, we if you guys don't do what we tell you, we're going to do this. And if you don't like it, oh, well. Because that, that's basically what they just did. Yeah. I mean, you got to think about it right now. I know a lot of members playing both sides because of the being scared yeah. of retaliation. Because you got to think about it. We're not only being retaliated against the company. We're being retaliated against the union. Okay? And... Is that right? I mean, think about that. Is If you come out tomorrow and go, I'm totally supporting the 623 Life's Matter slate, and it gets out, and then you happen to get in trouble, you know what's going to happen when you get defended? Your, your shop steward's going to defend you, Get but if it goes past your shop steward, say you get like a termination. I've been hearing rumors right now that, you know, Certain BAs are just sitting there with their legs crossed and their arms folded and looking at you like, hmm. You know what, though? You don't even got to get in no trouble. And and if they, if they found out that you were against them, they're not, they're, they're just not, they're not going to be fighting for you because they feel as though 
you know, you're not with me. But it's funny that you said that. We was me and Jumbo was talking to um, somebody maybe about three, maybe a month ago, right? And this brother, you know, real, real tight with one of them, real tight with him. And so <laughs> one of our BAs was driving by, saw him talking to us. <laughs> the brother looks at us and said, "Well, I guess now when I get in this car, I get a phone call." You know, and I was like, man, that shouldn't even be like that. We just out here having a talk. Mm-hmm. They, if people are so afraid to even be seen talking to us, it shouldn't be that way. Because the main thing, what I'm coming out with, and this is what we've been saying. Let me ask you guys a question: Do you want better? Yeah. Do you want better? Well, then we gotta vote better. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 it. That's end of the story. You know, and it's gonna be what you think is better. You know, right. do you think what we have now is good? <laughs> do you, when's the last time you've seen your BA? Okay, again, BA is business agent. A business agent is our representation from our union on the e-board. When's the last time you've seen them walk in the hub? You know, I mean, when I was on preload, that was probably the last time I saw Joni. Other than me showing up to the union hall. Yeah. You know, I, well, do, I do see Izzy walking around on midnight. Right. But then again, like, where's the representation going down in Cardish? Cardish is a part of Local 623. And they do not, they're, they're almost like the redheaded stepchild of UPS. Oh, oh, and check this out. Speaking of that, oh, man. Now, <laughs> Uh-oh, I, I hit a nerve. <laughs> yeah. You know how you said that? Like, like you said, uh, Cardish, nobody comes out? Yeah. Check this out. Okay. Now, I've been going to the Air Service Center, going to both of them for the last few years now, right? Try to hit them at least once every couple months just you know let them to give them some flyers whatever whatever right you know that video i put up about the guy say yo you don't want to want to come down here where he said you're the only union rep. right you know check this union. out when i first started going down there right there was a guy i can't remember his name he went there he went there friday he said he i think you've been there like 20 years Mm-mm. he said that in 20 years he may have seen a ba come down there four times four times I say, man, you got to be lying. You, you, there's no way you could be taking somebody money for 20 years and they don't see you but four times. Now, hold on. You got to remember, how long has this regime been in office? They've been in there. The core group been in there about 20, 20 plus years. Plus years. Yeah, the core group been in there about 20 years. It's yeah. like, come on. I mean, listen, you can't only make yourself present during election times. Yeah. You know, the last election back in 2016, let's think about this. They didn't take this slate seriously. You could just tell. Because oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the way they did their political run. I mean, if you're going to start politician, you know, start going out, handing out flyers and stuff like this, you want to do it like we did, right about now. And that's what we did. And I want to thank everybody that showed up July 5th at Oregon Avenue. Oh, yeah. You know, and we had a great turnout. Oh, yeah. You know, we have a fellow union sticking up with us, standing yep. there with us, yep. like trying to help us, just like we will them. And that's what it's about. Yep. These are people that, you know, we keep in contact with that come out and show support. You know, and it, I don't want to put it out there, but you got to. These guys show more support than some of the members. <laughs> they yeah. really do. And yeah. they're not even part of our local. Yeah. But we got to understand, like, if you guys like what we do and you, you're about what we, you know, or about, like, you want change, you want better stuff, Come on out, you yeah. know, show your support. You, yeah. you could show it by just standing there talking to us and learning more in person. Yep. You know, we don't bite. We will help, you know. And I promise me, I promise to help as many people as I can. If you like me, if you don't like me, yeah. I will help you. You know why? You are my brother. You are my sister. I will help you. We got to understand that, you know, we are brothers and sisters. We're united. Exactly. We got to come together strong. Right. We can't have hate once a, you know among each other. Because right. like on the website, or on our local on yeah. the thing, right. they were fighting on their left and right. I shut it down. I said, listen, we should not be fighting against each other. We should be fighting against the company, the wrongs. We should stick together. We should, you know, this is what the company wants. This is right. what they see. Yep. And they've simply, if you think that they don't know that we can't get along, you're wrong. Oh, oh yeah. Do you know they that? Know. They, they know. They know 100%. That. And and, and, and regardless of who is in office or whatever, the only way, even if we get in there, and I'm hoping, like I said, what we do, even if we win, the only way we're going to win against UPS is we all got to work together. Got to work together. We got to show them because, you, you know, know what I'm saying? That that's the only way we're going to win. What's that old thing? United, we stand, divided, we fall. Exactly. That's why the ATM committee that, you know, we got going on is very, very important. That committee is 
designed specifically for that purpose to get everybody back on the same page that's why we got to do it because if not no matter who's in there we're not gonna win no because we know what we got we're not gonna win yeah but we get in there we have to unite that's why that committee is very very important and, 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 and we got to stick by with what we say and, and we're yeah. going to but yeah. you know everybody's got to give us a chance too yeah. I mean, because like you can't just go oh it's them again you know they ran last time no we're stronger we're stronger than ever mm -hmm. i mean listen if you guys don't know who i am I've been supporting them since day one. Yeah. You know, I've been showing up at the rallies. I've been getting on the microphone. I've been talking to everybody on my free time. You know, I've been doing that stuff. You know, and I'm not saying that, you know, toot my own horn. I'm just saying I've been supporting. You know, I've been there. You know, I've been fighting. I've been doing that stuff. And these guys have noticed that, what the things I do, fighting and standing up for myself and helping others. Yeah. It's not just about me, you know. I mean, I had hard times on, yeah. on, on preload yeah. and it wasn't just because of supervision it was because of co-workers and stuff like that but you got to keep fighting gotcha. it's not just about you it's about your family you got to keep fighting and you know it's 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 an everyday thing i mean we don't even have to talk about work i mean how many times you woke up and there was a bad day i had a bad day like what recently you know yeah. uh, saturday i woke <laughs> up I, my my card was declined from my bank you know because of um i try to make an in-app purchase and I could not, uh, they basically had frozen my card. Wow. So they froze my card. And it was a bad thing that happened because it was a holiday weekend. The banks were closed. And I, I couldn't get Ooh. no money. So yeah. now that's a bad day. But, but I had to rush, go to an uh, appearance with my daughter because my daughter does cosplay. And she, we were raising money for autism awareness. Right. right. Couldn't get there because the card was declined. So it was a trickle down effect. effect. But, you know, if I let that affect me, it affects the family. Right. So when it, they see, you know, me upset. You know what? That's 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 right. You're yeah, right. I have to stay strong and you make sure to. and hold everything down. You I mean, because if, if I break down, the whole thing oh, breaks down. And that's what has happened here at our local. Yeah. Our leadership has broken down. Well, um, the up. attitude reflects leadership. Now, 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 listen. See, you say the leadership is broken down, but it's like they don't show it. We see it. Yeah. And there's a difference. It's like when somebody is doing something and it, and it seems like they're doing right. right. And like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this right. You know, there's not a problem here. But when you're on the outside looking in, you're just sitting there like, huh? Right. Like, this is wrong. Oh, Something's going I got, on. I got to do this thing real quick. All right, good people on the other side of this break. We're going to come back. Thank you for tuning in to WOM 92.9 South Philadelphia Community Radio. Uh, we're going to go into this little break here. Don't forget to go to SPCR.org. Go to the um, the donate button. No amount too big or too small. We appreciate all of it. And we'll be right, right back. How you doing? <laughs> so, I woke up, yo. I literally put my phone on my on my on my chest. Gone. <laughs> What's up, John? Good to hear see you, man. How y'all making out over there at 117, man? I know this is your election cycle too. I know y'all over there. I know you. I, I be seeing you, man. You you do a lot of good work, and hopefully, we'll get the chance to do that. All right, I will. I'll give it to him. All right. Reggie, my man. Oh man. I'm hoping that's for sure, cause he he got this that that grievance oh. that uh, that they've been working on. Finally, after two years, they're gonna to do it oh wow you know but it's it's, it's crazy man doing the damn thing reg i'm good change had potential spam yeah <laughs> that's what's up john and keep praying for us out here man we got 11 weeks left i think you got about 11 weeks left too Good people, we back. We back, we back. That's weird. Uh, so, as I started off the show, I want to let everybody know that we have 11 weeks left. That's all. Soon we're going to be in the single digits. And, you know, um, around this time, you know, and, I, and, I, and I'm thinking about a couple weeks, probably about three weeks, about two or three weeks. 
they're they're probably going to be trying to come out at the gates, whoever's going to run. And the goal is not to let the 623 Lives Matter team win. Has nothing to do with the, you and your family protecting them, fighting UPS. The goal is, and I'm going to tell you, this is just this, this is just being serious. That's crazy. Um, it's not a no. They don't want change. The local has been in this rut for a long, long time. If you think about it, the 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 core group has been together for about 20 years. They they don't want to give it up. That's why you got people quitting. More are supposed to be retired. Wharton B he quit. Mally he quit. All these people quitting. That's dysfunction. They are showing you that. It's time to go. We need a change. When you got people quitting like that, left and right, for whatever reason, it, it's it's time for a change. I, I never heard of that, you know, before. I mean, like you, 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 when you never in, heard that. When you're in, you're in. You know, what I mean, right. Cause like everybody, it's like growing up. If you had a union job, you were looked at like wow. Exactly. Now, if you were a part of the union. Yeah, man, yeah. they damn near being like a a, a president almost. Right. And right. Even if you the, the smallest piece right. of the union, if that means you help people and you care. Right. And you know, it, it's not like it used to be. And the only reason it's not like it used to be is because you know, times are different now. Yeah. You know, it seems like the people that are in office are giving in to a lot of concessions. Yeah. And it, it seems that they feel that that's the way in order to get something. But other locals, yes. as you see, yes. are proving that wrong. Yes, they so are. it's like, you know, what, 804 was one of them? 804. And you're sitting there like, okay, well, you know, this cannot be done. It will not be done. And they proved it completely and, and, wrong and, you know and what? shattered it. Right. And you know what? Another thing is with that whole supplement thing, <clears throat> our supplement is really, really bad. Nothing changed. All they did was say if you didn't vote yet the first time, they'll take part of your raise to the pension. But three hours to the west of us had the same language, needed more money for the pension. They voted it down once. They voted it down twice. They got UPS to pick up the pension shortfall, and they got improvements. But our principal officer said, well, this is all I could do. And and when you look at stuff like that, it makes you wonder, like, man, what is it going to take for people to really understand the, how bad this is? This is not a just making it up. This is real life situation. I mean, the, I, the man said there was nothing that he could do. So three hours up to the West, they needed more money, same language, they got it done. 804, they got... Pension increase. Yeah. Uh, restrictions on the 22-4. And shout out to Hector and, and Vincent yeah, and Mark and all those guys up there, man. You guys are just. That we know your names that our local probably don't. And, and check this out. They are turning the tables against the company and not letting the same old, same old happen. Every other day I'm, I'm on their page. I'm seeing how the members are thankful for what they're doing. They go in there, they rating the buildings, they are holding the company uh, accountable. Yeah. And and they got they What's got the last time we had a rate. Never. Oh, okay. Just Never. making sure. <laughs> Never. But we will have one Listen, if we get elected. I just have a question for the members. I mean, this is a, a legit question. What will it take <laughs> for know. you, meaning every member listening, every every member that works at you know UPS Local 623, Argonav? Airho, wherever you work, what will it take for you to go? This isn't enough. This is a change. <laughs> you know what? What has to happen? Yeah. Like that hasn't happened already. Right. Well, I mean, let's let's break down what happened. You know, we got multiple crappy contracts. When was the last good contract with a good race? You know, we got we lost our med, uh, what's our, our, our healthcare. team healthcare and went to team care. <laughs> you know, we got paid deductibles. Yeah. You know, I mean, you guys are if you go to a doctor, you got to get, you know, pay your deductibles and pay all this. Stuff. Oh, it's crazy. It's not like it used to be. Right. What? When is enough enough? When do you want to get changed? When are you tired of fighting for something little? as pay shortages i know preload when i worked for preload before i switched over yeah. from january to may every week of my paycheck was incorrect and i had to fight to get my pay correct mm -hmm. i had to put a, a grievance every day and it's crazy to think that somebody would enjoy that 
Right. You know, you don't want to enjoy those things. All right, Mr. Espo. And, and we got to right, right on time, man. All right. Hey, all right, guys. You know, you guys know yesterday I put up a post about this grievance that in, was, was going to be a landmark here. decision that our brother Espo was working on. I know you got the um, grievance. He, oh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. everybody knows that um, when it comes to grievance and getting money, uh, Espo don't play no game. Mm -hmm. So um, now he's, he's going to explain it to you guys. And I really want you guys to pay attention because what he's about to do will change um, not only our situation for our local, but other locals in our area. So, um, Espo, go ahead and tell us what you got, man. Okay. So, everybody who doesn't read the collective bargaining agreement, get ready for this, right? <laughs> Article 54, right, talks about how you will be paid, right? It's based off your daily guarantee, right? Whatever it is for full-time employees. In my case, it's eight. Booker has four and four nines. Right. Right? Some guys have five eights. They're all different kind of days involved. Right. right. Right? There are scenarios that could happen where on your first report of your scheduled work week of your first 40 hours, you could work and get double time, such as the Sunday that happens during Christmas time. Exactly. Such as possibly, you know, for preloaders on Sunday, if you start before 10 o'clock, right, right? Right. There's other things involved, right? Other things you got to certify. Part timers, for them, you choose, are also involved, from my understanding. If you work more than 40 hours in a week, that time and a half rate that you think you got after 30 hours or after five hours in a day changes. It increases. That's exactly the understanding I got. From the Federal Code of Regulations, Title 29, CFR 778. Okay? Very important. Alright? So, in here, it tells you that certain premium payments made by the employer for work in excess of or outside of a specific, specified daily or weekly standard work periods or on certain special days regarded as overtime premiums, right? This, in these particular cases, this is work inside of our specified daily or weekly standard. So the premiums must be included, right? right? That, is, that is the big crux of the argument. So local 384, 676, everyone in the Metro Philly agreement that has the same language same as language, us. Same language. Right? Right. Would definitely qualify for this particular kind of grievance, okay? Very big. Let alone... You have to examine how the wording is across the country, but there's probably other locals that clearly fall under this particular right. scenario, right. if not every local. Every local. Right. If it does work out, it is a significant amount of money that UPS That's, could owe everybody. Right. Because UPS has opted, basically, they're, they're going to opt. There's no doubt in this case, because it makes all sense in the world for them to fight it. Right? Right. Why because have, it's a lot of money. Because it's, right. if it happens here and we win, it changes the formula for everybody else around the country, and everybody around the country is going to have to take a look at this. Right. Just like I was telling uh, Hooker, also to these guys that have the $100 tenants bonus, that needs to be counted in to determine your true overtime rate after the 40th hour. It has to be counted in. Okay? It's called a non-discretionary bonus. There are many different things that the local is not telling people what's going on. But if this case does win, everyone should dial or make sure that they get a letter in the mail stating what to look for so they can see any pay discrepancies that they might have. Right. Because UPS is very quick to say, oh, you got time and a half after 40, right? But time and a half is not as simple as you say time and a half. Right. And that's the whole point of this argument. Right. Right. Time and a half isn't just one and a half times whatever your regular rate is. It's times the true regular rate based upon your 40 hours, 40 hours of work. work. Right. Right? That's the cost. <laughs> That's it. Right. If this case goes, it needs to happen. Now, there are certain people that I would like to see down at the AAPGC <laughs> meeting on right. July 17th. 18th. That's a Thursday. Eight, okay. 18th. 18th. July 18th. Zuckerman, Sean O'Brien, Hoffa, Hall. Got that, y'all? Got right, it? Right. I want to see you all up there. 
all the Eastern VPs. I want to see you all. Right. Because it's such a big idea about wage theft and how accurate that it is. And someone should be checking this stuff out with an attorney across the board right now. UPS is doing it. I guarantee you that. Oh, you, you know that. They, you from my that. understanding, I also found this out too. Last night I talked with uh, the business agent, Mr. Shanahan. As I told you, we're working together with this. Right. He's doing his job. I will tell you that he is doing his job because that's what he's doing. Right? It took a while to push for this button, as we all know. Two years. Right? Better late than never. Right. The penalty keeps climbing. Right. Right? Right. Two years. $11,952 as of the day that gets heard. Right. $146 and I think 96 cents or something like that every week that they choose to put it off. Right. All right? Just yes. to put that in perspective, everybody, you could be a part of this too by filing the appropriate grievance for all the weeks that you might have affected. Got that? Right. Time to start looking at your payroll history and start thinking about it. If you need help, maybe we can try to oh, figure yeah. out how yeah. to do that. Yeah, we'll help you out. But Seven. I can also tell you that the company has wanted my copy of the statement that I will submit that panel, they've requested the information. They're going to get it on Friday. On Friday, I intend to post up what I wrote so everyone can see. Right. So everyone can take a look. Right. You can see how it affects you and think about how it might affect others and spread the word. Right. Because that's what being in the union is about. Spread exactly. the word. To Solidarity. Fight. Yes. To fight. Yes. The injustices or, you know, accidental. Mm -hmm. <laughs> accidental. <laughs> like, <laughs> wink, wink. Ac accidental. For the, for the people um, on the radio, wink, people wink. People that just aren't aware of how overtime is calculated within the United States of America, okay? Just right. so everybody understands, right. This, right? Now, so on Friday, we'll post it. No need to give the company the information before they receive exactly. it in their hands. Exactly. See? Now, everybody needs to understand that, you know, this ain't our first rodeo. You know, what else did we do? We changed the bylaw. Right? Yeah. So how many people looked at you, Hook, when you came up with this about the bylaw? It ain't going to happen. No. It's not going to happen. Yeah. This ain't going to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, and guess what? I hate to tell everybody, it happened. Yeah. And I mean, even when it happened, oh, Hoffa's not going to approve it. Yeah. Guess what? We got a letter, and it's on our site basically stating that he, he approved it. So when whatever Espo is saying, he's fighting. It's a two-year process so far and yeah. growing. Yeah. And guess what? He's sticking with it. Yeah. And that's what things need to be done around here in our local. Yeah. But Tenacity. Yeah, 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 yeah you word. You, tenacity. tenacity. Yeah. So you got to understand, it's like a lot of things in life don't come overnight. I mean, when, and when everybody, you know, when we grow up, you know, you turn 21. And I said this to my stepson. You graduate high school, you know. And you don't just think about graduation when you we're going through life. You know, even when you're younger, they tell you think about like a career or whatever. Right. You know, I told them you're just not going to wake up one day, yawn, go, oh, hmm. I know where my path is. You know, I know what I'm doing. It takes time. It takes you know tenacity. Yep. It takes you know fighting. You have to fight. You dedication. Have to have dedication. Yep. It takes a lot of things that you know. It takes opening the book up, it, and reading, reading and educating yourself. So you that's know. that's the key right there. Because speaking of that bylaw, yeah, I went. I the, the, how I found out about it was, like you said, education. I went to Labor Notes in Chicago. Yeah. Right. And they on had, your own, right? Right. They had a class. Um, they was talking about how to run for office. That was the name of the class. Me and Jumbo went. Um, had it had some really. It had Matthew Maney, BA from uh, 251. Mm -hmm. uh, David Levin, he's a um, organizer for TDU. And it had another lady. I forgot, but she she, I can't remember where she was from. But she was the president of her local. And so they was asking people out in the crowd about yo, what do you think you need? How did you know how to win? People was longshoremen would say something. Somebody from Sweden would say something. Man, people from all over the country. So there was one lady from IOTC. She said, "Well, we was thinking about changing the bylaws, and it stuck out to them. Now, I, you know, how, however you change them is up to you. Yeah. But it just so happened it was it's not an, entirely true. Right. You can try to change. But right. You can be consistent. Right. With the IBT constitution. Yeah. So, so, so Hoffa can has to prove it what it is. Right. But if it is not, you have to statewide sign right. and make sure that it's articulated yeah, so right. you can't say there's some kind of shenanigans. Because yeah. what I did when I came back to Chicago, I had a meeting with Espo and class. Mm -hmm. And you remember, we, was eight, we ate at Denny's. I said, listen, mm -hmm. this is what we need to do. 
and they looked at me, and it was like, okay, yeah, let's get it done. I mean, and it takes something as little as that that it brainstorms and turns into what yeah. it did. And right. guess what? Everybody agreed about it. You know, and yeah. I brought it up last night, and I didn't get a good response from it. People are like, who cares? I'm like, well, <laughs> why, why? I'm like, why would you say that? And I'm like, well, they're like, well, with the bylaw, what makes it that the president of the union can't just pick one of his buddies? Right. I was like, you know what? You're right. You're right. But the point is, it's like, if they are still there, we have to expect that because that's the way things are being run now. Right. Because you think about it, it's their buddies getting the, the shop stewards, their buddies getting the BAs. You know, it's people that are supporting them, but they might not, you know, have the same fight as other people, right. but they're, they know that they got their back 100%. And, and, so. and that was the underlying message right there. That was the underlying message. If you know that the principal officer will probably do those things or could, then make sure you get the right principal officer. Just you want in, better? Vote right. better. Right, because um, that's the only way you're going to make sure that that's not going to happen, but... You know. I mean, listen, if, if you if you got to sit down right now and basically think and brainstorm this, this whole thing, that means it's not ready from the get-go because <laughs> you got to be like, oh, whoa, is my principal officer going to do this? And right. you got to think about it. And you got to be like, well, first of all, who's my principal officer? Right. You right there, it's already right. Did I use his name? So I won't use his name now because, you know, I don't want to be upset. Okay. Right. right. <laughs> Shop but I put enough. it out there for people to join in the views because everybody else might not see it, right? So I did that. Wink, wink for someone. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, he told people that they couldn't attach their name to the grievance. So there's an issue. If they feel they were aggrieved, they should be allowed to attach their name to the grievance. Right? That's how it works, right? Right. Say, we'll write a grievance and say, I want to attach my right. name to right. whatever the um, number of grievance is, 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 right? Is right. You know, we, well, I know you got them. I've yeah. seen it. It's on social media. I know you have it. Let's go put it in there, right? Yeah. Walker or you, Romeo, can yeah. do the same thing and exactly. attach yourself because you could say somehow you're aggrieved, which would not be the case. But yeah. then it becomes the issue of, well, let's say, for instance, us three are the only names in a grievance, right? Mm -hmm. None of us are aggrievable employees, right? Right. We all split the spit the spoils together right right okay. or is it the main person filed the original grievance right these are deeper questions for a later date exactly yeah, right exactly yeah i don't care about splitting it yeah that's i wouldn't either that's why As, I put it out there. the thing you know, about it is if you all want to split it if you all want to split money and you all want some money there's a there's a little paper right i'm right. filing for years i got a stack at home of all the grievances i filed it's and amazing you'll be coming with me down to richmond yep. on the hotel richmond July 18th. Anybody want to come down and be a protester? Be happy. Yeah. Ain't it? Um, <laughs> okay. This is what you got to understand. You gotta, you gotta put the effort in, man. Yeah. If anybody comes down there, this is the time to show up and pay attention. Yeah. And, and yeah. Right. It's crazy. Very important. So yeah. hopefully, a lot of people read this, spread the word about this show, because if this show and this grievance, and you're just like Slattery said at the meeting, he understood what the argument was, right? Mm -hmm. He disagrees. Push it up, right? No problem. I don't care. Let the due process work. I know that it's a winner. I think they know it's a winner. And I think they know there's a big... We dodge the bullet. Right. Exactly. We dodge the bullet. Right. Right? We dodge the bullet. Right. But as all things are are as they are these are some of the scenarios that could happen Jeez. if that happens to me i know you're gonna go book wild. i will be I know. I know. 10 times more I know. I, I know my wife might not like it because i might only work about 20 hours a week but <laughs> I'll be out there with signs. I know. All right? I, I know. I'll be out there yeah. with signs. I'll be out there on social media never before. I'll be like, oh, this is it. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I know. I'll be right there with you. We ain't having I'll be, this. I'll oh, be, no, I'll be no, right no. there with you too, man. No, 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 no. That's I, I will turn that into the election supervisor and say, hey, listen, there are certain people that have committed certain particular acts that need to be examined, whether they're criminal in nature. Yeah. We have to examine this. You can't resolve things and take away people's property at the same time. No, you can't. Right. right. 
That's why we invest in a panel for our fair shake and we go down there. Right. Now, don't mind you, the company should pay attention, right? Right. If you got a guy that got jammed up and has no other thing in his history and he's a good dude, you say, hey, listen, we understand that this might be a one-time thing. We seen your record. We know that you, you know, you, you're a worker. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're not going to complain. We want you to correct this problem and issue, right? Don't be uh, haggling people, keeping them out for six weeks or three days or whatever the case may be for some silly thing like misinputting information in the diet and saying it's dishonesty for the one occurrence that you have or whatever, right? Because that's not just cause. It's not. First of all, UPS can edit the information because there's a mistake and inform him that there's a mistake. Right? This isn't something that's a permanently fixed to UPS. It isn't like he went and took the package car all the way down Lane City, gave him for two hours, and then came back. You know what I'm saying? Well, guys, yeah. well, we got about six minutes left. Let's let, let y'all close it out. Okay. We got closing remarks. Well, I, I have, um, when I was handing out paperwork last night, mm -hmm. and I said we had a rally to announce our slate. Right. I was like, now, I was like, we're going to be we're gonna be everywhere. You're going to see us everywhere. We're going to have information but everywhere. the guys at the airport, they always see it. Guys, I, was like, I will. I'll make them bigger. I'll make them better. Right. And everybody will get some. And that's my promise to you. Right. I was like, you know, I'm, I, I want the support as long as with everybody else. <sighs> but we're not forgetting everybody. Nah. It's what, 11 weeks left? Yeah. I mean, we, we've been at both buildings for the last four years. So Yeah, I mean, we you haven't know, changed. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's the same thing. But we'll be back out there. God, I really want to hit those guys on a Saturday, because those are the guys that are just coming in. They, yeah. they really don't know. Who's yeah, going. I mean, and well, I also I mean, would like people to come up to us. Yeah. With, and, and like show their support, and not just show support because they want a T-shirt and a button. <laughs> you know, I mean, listen, I, I I don't mind giving out the stuff when we have it. It's cool. That's what we're here for. We're giving it to you for support. But like, you know what? I I don't want it to be like, oh, I want this, I want that. You know, we want the vote, yes, of course, and we will give you whatever we have because that's what we got it for. But, you know, don't don't make it just about that. Right. You know, we love you just the same. Oh, yeah. You know, talk about, you know, or how are they or if you have an issue or if you have a have to discrepancy. Speak about I talked to a driver on the way out, a feeder driver. Mm -hmm. He said, when are you going to get in the office? He said, when you start talking that you want me in office. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. That's right. what it is. Right? right? When you start telling your fellow members, I want these guys in office, I That's what happened. They want. To, yeah. They have the drive. They have the ambition. They're not beat up over the years over UPS. They have the fire in their belly yep. to make it happen. Mm -hmm. They will take the steps necessary to win. Right. Yeah. And and uh, to close it out, you know, um, speaking of that, I got two two messages from feeder drivers yesterday, and I posted them on our, on our group, and everybody yeah. read them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, like you just said. You know, if you want change, you got to put us in there. That's the only way this is going to happen. You know, we can come to the show. We can go to the Oregon Ave, serve, Air Service Centers, PHL. We can do whatever we can. But if you guys don't vote, it's, it's not going to matter. Vote. Yeah. If you want better, vote better. That's vote just better. it. So we're going to get out of here, good vote people. Vote we, vote we're better. glad that you, you tuned in. You're watching us. And uh, you're listening to WOOM 92.9 South Philadelphia Community Radio. Don't forget to go to spcr.org. Hit the donate button. Again, um, for our campaign, you guys know the links if you uh, want to donate. And we appreciate everybody that has so far. Don't forget, it's $6.23. You know, if you want to do more, that's fine as well. Feel free to reach out to me on yeah. Facebook, James Anthony Romeo. I'll get you where you need to be. If yeah. you need anything, just like, you know, I'm very friendly. Message me, I'll get with you. Yeah, so same thing for Espo. Yes. You know what I mean? You, you guys know me. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk, probably tired of seeing me. Um, but this weekend, guess what, guys? I'm going to get some more education so I can be um, a better, um, so I can serve the members better. Yes. Yeah, so this weekend I'll be, this Saturday I'm going up there to a leadership conference. <clears throat> so I'll be going up there so when I come back we can we can really, really, you know, stick it to the company and, and make sure our members are protected. So we're going to get out of here. We appreciate you guys. Thank you guys again for all that you do for us. Yes. Spread the word. 11 weeks left. Soon, like, soon it's going to be in single digits. 623 Lights Matters yeah, slate. Yeah, so don't forget, vote for us all, because you remember what happened last time. 37 votes short, and if we had went into the individual votes, um, even Espo, uh, Clarence, and Jumbo will be in office right now. So keep that in mind. It's amazing. It gets yeah. closer and closer yeah. every time, and we, we, we intend to shatter that. Yeah, so uh, we appreciate y'all. We love you guys. Don't forget to vote for us. 11 weeks, 623 lives matter.
So, I think that's the So, I also.